Hi guys and welcome back to our teaching short series. In today's episode we will be looking at how on earth you correctly hold a flute. So many teachers have different methods to teach hand position and I cannot claim to have the only correct method. So do let me know in the comments if you find any of this difficult or if you have any other ideas on how to get a good hand position. I'm always interested to hear about other methods. Let's take the left hand position first. The most important thing that we need to remember when holding the flute is that it's really quite awkward. So we need to make things as easy and as natural as possible. Take hold of the barrel of the flute in your right hand and rest the head joint on your left shoulder so that when we try to find the position for our left hand it doesn't have to worry about the weight. Once you've got that position move the hand gently onto the flute so that your first finger is hovering over the B key, your middle finger is hovering over the A key and the ring finger is hovering over the G key. We can now think about where to support the weight of the flute with our left hand. The weight of the flute should ultimately be resting on this portion of your hand. And when the flute is supported, this part of the hand should gently push the flute towards you. Your left wrist should have formed a right angle with the flute body, but don't force your hand into this position if it doesn't feel natural. To get our right hand into a proper playing position, we need to recreate the position that we did with our left hand, that relaxed shape that looks something like this. Now take hold of the barrel of the flute with your left hand this time, rest the head joint on your shoulder, and make that relaxed hand position with the right hand. Once you have that relaxed hand position, gently move the hand towards the body of the flute. You'll notice that your thumb is now the supporting digit. And rather than sitting underneath the flute, which means the flute will roll, the thumb needs to sit behind the key work. Place the thumb around about here and gently push the flute away from you to create an opposing force to the left hand. We're now getting so close to being able to hold the flute correctly. It's important now to make sure that you aren't straining or likely to drop the flute. Having someone with you may help with this. Now, similarly to how we did it last time, grasp the flute gently with the right hand first, not this time by the barrel, but by the body underneath the keys. Make sure not to squeeze the keys, just support the body joint. And we'll tackle the left hand first. Let's find that loose relaxed position once again with the left hand. And then once we found it, glide that position gently onto the flute body. Make sure that this part of the hand is supporting the weight of the flute and feel that gentle push towards you. So once we have that hand position, move the flute gently onto your chin so that you can feel that there is pressure against the chin and then with your left hand, gently push towards you. Now that we've managed to get the left hand into position, it's time to get the right hand into position. But Chris, don't take the right hand away yet, you'll drop the flute. And you're right, I would. So, we need to grasp the keys very gently with our left hand, maintaining the pushing towards us with our left hand. Then the right hand is free to do what it likes. And what it would love to do is make that really relaxed and loose position that we had earlier. Then once that position's made, we can gently slide it back onto the flute, making sure that we're hovering over those keys and the thumb is not underneath, but behind and exerting a pushing force gently away from us, meaning that we have one push away 
and one push towards. Then if we relax the grip on the keys with our left hand, we can maintain a suspended flute. That's all for now guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you've been able to get to grips with holding the flute. Don't forget to subscribe which is the big red button down below and hit the notification bell which is right next to it so you never miss new content. And as always hit like if you liked, hit dislike if you disliked, comment if you have any ideas of content you would like to see and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.